first, some big news for anyone who works at the Defense Department. Just minutes ago, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel ordered a review of security procedures at all U.S. military installations around the world. Steve Chenevy is live in our newsroom with details this afternoon. Steve? Uh, a couple of reviews, Jimmy. One of the big questions that continues to circulate is how did the gunman Aaron Alexis get and maintain his security clearance? Now that we're seeing more and more red flags surfacing about his mental state and prior run-ins with the law. Now the Defense Department recognizing those red flags in hindsight. It opens up the larger question of should more be done from a security standpoint, not just in obtaining access to military bases per se, but in obtaining security clearance, particularly for civilian contractors. Just a short time ago, a few minutes ago, literally at the Pentagon, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel addressed the security issue from the military's perspective. Where there are gaps, we will close them. Where there are inadequacies, we will address them. And where there are failures, we will correct them. We owe the victims, their families, and all our people nothing less. We're going to hear a lot more about this throughout the day today. Again, two independent reviews are going to happen from the Defense Department, plus the Navy is doing its own review that DOD says it will take under advisement and wrap that all into its own plan. President Obama also calling for a system-wide review of security standards. Part of the challenge, though, is the vast number of Americans with U.S. security clearance. As nearly 5 million people currently have security clearance in this country, more than 1 million with the highest level top secret clearance. I'm going to have much more for you coming up at 5 o'clock. That's it for now from the newsroom. Jimmy, we'll send it back to you. Okay, Steve, thanks. Look forward to your report a little later. We'll just